Okay, I'm gonna do something probably really stupid right now. Greetings everybody, I'm not at another theme park baby, I'm at home, but I wanted to try a little bit of a social experiment. Um, see what happens. I wanna see exactly what happens if I do this. Um, it should be fun, it should be kind of a good time. I'm going to post my phone number on Twitter and then I'm gonna see who calls. Because see, one of the big things that I was thinking about is, you know, it's definitely kind of impersonal sometimes when it comes to like YouTube and Facebook. And I really want to see how personal it gets. So, yeah, I kind of used this idea a little bit on an Austin McConnell video that I really liked. So, I'm going to take that idea and I'm going to use it. Perfect. Perfect question now. So let's do it. We got like five minutes, so let's see what happens. So I just tweeted it. <laughs> and here we go. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna go off. I don't know if it's gonna ring. But I have a feeling <clears throat> it will happen. And this is gonna be kind of interesting. Interesting thing to see if anybody takes the bait. So what will happen is that when the phone rings, I'll hit record and we're just gonna have like a probably a brief like five minute conversation and then we'll see who else takes the bait. That's the rules. Protect myself. <laughs> I actually used uh, it's a Google voice number, so that's gonna be kinda cool. See what happens so far. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't happen. Maybe nobody calls. Which is fine, I guess. It happens. Here we go. Hello. Uh, hello, is this Sean? Yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? Who's this? Are you having a good? Uh, this is Eric. Oh, Eric. <laughs> I was like, who is this? Whose number is this? So, yeah, yeah it's... I, I called you, put it, you put it on Twitter, so I thought I'd call you up. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a, a social experiment that I felt it'd be kind of funny to try to see if anybody actually does it, um, or oh if God, they just... Uh... very brave. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it pretty cool? Like, uh, it's like, hey, you know what? Call up, call up this guy that you like follow, and see what happens. <laughs> and you're not even charging anything. No, not at all, not at all. Although I could probably promote like my Patreon and like my Spreadshirt and all the other like avenues that people can like give me monies. Yeah, force force everyone to listen to like a, a three minute uh. A three minute ad. That would be a great idea. <laughs> that would be a... So how many people have called you? Uh, you're the first one. You're the first one right now. <laughs> you're caller number one. That's funny. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Well, uh, well, it's nice to talk to you. Sometimes I see your stuff, uh, you know, when you're in the park and you're like, hey, who's here? And I'm like, oh man, I wish I was in Orlando. Yeah. Uh, Cause I love hanging out, you know, with people in the park. So I'm not down there all the time. So yeah, let me know when you get down here, and in, and then uh, just let me know, and we'll hang. Funny. So I've I've always been the kind of person who's trying to convince people to go to Orlando. Uh huh. You know, I'm like, hey, it's just, I'm like, guys, it's just three hundred dollars. You know, I'm like, you're gonna get to see Tinkerbell, and I'm like, you know, trying to convince them of it. Yeah, a lot of people will be like, ah, do I really want to do it? And then they, they they may go, they may not go. It's weird. It's super weird. Yeah, yeah. Even Flight of Passage, like, they say dinosaur is, um, it's like what they want. You know, a thrill ride where you're going through different... Yeah. Like, I would say that's probably, like, the scariest ride of all time. <laughs> yeah. It really is. I think the issue is, you know, Indiana Jones exists. So, yeah, and then it becomes like it's like an either or sort of thing. Yeah, it's weird. It's super weird. Yeah, it is. I think it, it's like um, 
it's like, you know, the world Tannenbaums came out, and it's a, a Wes Anderson masterpiece. And then came the Life Aquatic. You know, if the Life Aquatic would have come first, it would have been heralded as the masterpiece. But it still is a masterpiece. You know it's still a, it's still a good masterpiece. I like the Life Aquatic. Hey, by the way, I'm 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 recording all these conversations. I'm gonna put it into one long vlog. <laughs> but take it all back. I don't want to be judged on the <laughs> uh, no, no disrespect to you. It was a great conversation. But I'm going to see who else calls. <laughs> no. Good talking to you, man. Alright, man. You're the best. Thanks, bro. Alright. Bye-bye, Sean. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's, that's interesting. We got our first one. We got our first one. So, <laughs> you break through that that, that barrier, and then it all just kind of comes after that point. Let's see what happens. Notice is that <clears throat> what's funny is that um, it's very easy to communicate with people like through Twitter, through like all these like different like social media like networks, but you know, it's like, hey, you know, especially when it comes down to, you know, when people see people like in real life, or if they're given the opportunity to talk to that particular person, um, then the rules change. And I almost feel like a part of it is like taking power back in a way, because like on the one hand, I can sit and go, call me. And you're kind of like, waiting to see if people like do call you and some will some may not but who knows go on reach out to me physically talk to me and it's been a long time like when people like haven't like physically talked to one another like if they're not texting or sending a message or i am or anything like that it's just very rare that it happens so you know I would say 10 minutes in with one phone call. That's not bad. That's not bad. But it's a fun experiment to see what exactly happens. If it, if it happens. I wonder if people think like the number is a prank or something like they don't think that it's gonna like reach me at all so I don't know I think it's pretty interesting to see how people react to it like if they're gonna do it and I wonder if like somebody's like reading the tweet and they go should I should I do it like and it's kind of like a back and forth like like maybe it's a joke, maybe it's Sean, maybe it's like a fake number, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. But it's kind of interesting to see how people's minds starts turning when you give them the opportunity of like, hey, you wanna call this guy that you watch on YouTube? Maybe you should. And then the door's open, but do you risk it? What do you say? What could you say? What would you say if you saw your favorite creator? If you had the ability to talk to your favorite creator, like on the phone, what would you possibly say to them? To not sound weird. Like if there was an opportunity to talk to somebody that you, I don't know, either admire or you hate or whatever, right? Do you take that opportunity or do you let it pass? I know like there's like a lot of people who have like opportunities like when they see their favorite like creator in the parks, right? And I wonder like if that's kind of that weird debate where they look at it and they go, hmm, I see, hmm, I don't know, I see Adam the Woo right in front of me. Do I say something to him? Do I not say something to him? Do I wait 
for this opportunity? Do I wait for him to spot me? Do I, how do I approach the situation? And I know like for me, you know, like when I first started out, it was kind of like a weird, like, should I, shouldn't I? And you debate, and you debate, and you debate. And then what if you miss your chance? What if you miss your chance, right? Funny is that like this uh, number, I think I'm getting text messages, but nobody's calling. And it's 620. So at this rate, it'd be one phone call every 10 minutes, if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky. But it's interesting. It's because I only use Twitter, but maybe I can open up to other, other social medias, right? On my Instagram story. A lot of people will see it, so now that's two. <laughs> social media channels that I have now opened that door of possibility and see what happens. Very interesting. I wonder if like there's got to be like a nice little wall of anonymity and if I said the word wrong, just leave it in the comments that I did. But I wonder if that wall of privacy is a thing that like, you know, like we as creators like to hide behind, but it's also like that same like barrier that like people who are like watching the YouTube channel also like to hide behind too. This is nothing but text. So people are like, it's like little jabs, it's jabs, so. People don't know, it's me. <laughs> let's see, let's see what happens. Because on the Google Voice, you can literally sign up for a number. You can sign up for a free phone number. It doesn't have to be your number, but you can sign up for a free number and you can use it um, as long as you have like internet connection. The funny thing is, is that the Google Voice it's like, um, I guess in text, so a lot of people don't know it's me. So it's like, little jabs. So they're sending text messages first, not knowing it's me. And we're at the halfway point, it's 627. I'm assuming it's 630. At the halfway point, one phone call. <laughs> This is fun. Like, I kind of like sitting here and waiting and waiting, but at the same time, I, I can hear the wheels grinding, but it does make things interesting. Like, wow. Even if nobody calls, even if I never hear from another person outside of that one, I think, what I've done is, you know, create this idea of like, here's your opportunity. What are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do? You have an opportunity to call somebody you never met and talk to them. Does it happen? Do you do it? Do you take that opportunity? What if, what if, it was something you didn't like? Like maybe you don't like my channel, maybe you just don't like me as a person, right? Maybe you just, mm, really don't like watching Sean, he's just a jerk, he's pompous, you know? What if you can call me and tell me that. Do you take that opportunity? Do you take that opportunity to tell your favorite creator or a creator? If you have the opportunity to say it to their face, to say it to their face, to say whatever you want to get off your chest, do you say it? Do you take that opportunity and go for it? Or do you let it pass? And then just, I don't know, 
talk about it on the internet. Talk about this person and that person on the internet. It's very interesting to see like how all this plays out. Again, that door's open. Let me in. <laughs> and one person took it. There is a weird caveat that I think people take in consideration to think about because not only have I opened the door, but that door opens both ways. So what that means is, I think once that door is open, then people have a direct line to you, but you also have a direct line to them. And it's pretty easy when it comes to like Facebook and Twitter, stuff like that, you can block people, which is fine, you can do that all day. Hello? Hi, Sean. Hi. This is one of your followers. <laughs> <laughs> from Mobile, I, I you know I've been yes. I was I haven't I'm, been to Alabama since like 2016 I think no I, love you. I was in uh, oh, it's okay here <laughs> was it 2016 no it was uh, 2000 and no it was 2016 I was in uh, Andalusia and op I never did, got to make it to Mobile did you like it it was okay it's a lot of um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a lot of um, trees. <laughs> yeah, I was I'm I'm doing this social experiment here, and I was like, "Hey, give me a call. You got an hour." So I'm seeing okay. like who would actually call. Um, yeah, it's actually kind of interesting. I love your followers. I love your content. I oh. love your content. I love your talent. I wish I could have came and seen the two plays that you were in. I just, I live here and I only get to come to Orlando like once a year. Um, I actually will be there with me and my family in February. No, that's cool. Cause uh, so, yeah, just let me know and I'll definitely come out and meet up. This is your social experiment. You yeah. So, so what I'm doing, um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually recording a video as I'm, as okay. I'm waiting for phone calls. So it'd be kind of a okay. interesting video to kind of put together. So, you know, you, yeah. get, to, you get to kind of low key be on it now. <laughs> okay, this sounds great. Well, hi everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for calling me. I appreciate it. Thanks, Sonny. You have an awesome day. All right. You too. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's two. That's pretty cool. That's really interesting. <laughs> Man, it's so interesting to like think about like is like that door gets open. Who's gonna walk through it? What's gonna happen? It's kinda nerve wracking a little bit, right? <laughs> Six forty two. Oh, only two only two people called. Text though. That's that's where everybody tries to figure things out. Because they don't know. They don't know what's going on. So it's definitely pretty interesting <laughs> to see what happens. So I can't wait. And it's like, it's a very interesting like concept and thought about how people react when you're given that opportunity. I kind of like this. Um, this will probably be the last time I ever do something like this, um, but I like to try to figure out like how people think, especially when it comes to like content creators and how they respond to content creators. And I'm always want to walk up to people in the park. I think I said it before, like I don't mind um, seeing, you know, other creators or seeing like people that I think I realize or know um, in the parks and I'll just walk up to you and start talking to you. But interesting thing is that like, that's just me for somebody else. 
you know, wondering if they actually take that dive and do that, you know, it's pretty interesting. But it's really interesting to kind of open that door too and see what they do. I want to see what they do. I'm very curious to see what people do. But also, I think um, it's interesting because, you know, when it comes to like YouTube and stuff like that, you know, we can, you know, people will give people money to support. People will buy t-shirts to support. Um, they'll do a lot of things that's supporting, and I think they like doing that from afar. Um, I don't see any issues with that. I mean, if you want to support your favorite creator, by all means, please. But it's interesting to see that it's like, hey, for free, you have a direct line to me. Would you take it? If you didn't have, like, imagine if I had this on like Patreon. If like for Patreon, you can call me. Like, let's say it was like a hundred bucks, right? You donate a hundred bucks. You have an open line of communication to me at any time you want, any time, right? Do you take it? I mean, if you're paying the hundred dollars, sure, because that's what you paid for. That's where your money went. That's where your money's going. Where is my money going? It's going to having direct contact with this creator I want. But do you do it if it's for free? And do you do it if you're skeptical of what's to happen? Does it, does it scare you? Does it worry you? Is this real? Is this really happening? And it's like, you question it. You know, like, is this actually happening right now? So, is that, you know, too good to be true sort of thing? But I guess if you're paying for it, then you kind of expect it. You're not sure what you expect if it's for free. Hmm. Very interesting to, to kind of watch this all unfold. I mean, even like with two calls. It's just watching how people think. And like right now I have my laptop, all right? And so I'm just kind of just looking at my Twitter mentions and looking at Twitter and seeing like what people think and how they react. And they're all reacting in the same way that I'm kind of imagining it. But they're not quite sure on if this is real. Like, I wonder if there's somebody who saw it and they're just debating back and forth on if they should call it. Do I call it? Do I not call it? Does he answer? What if he has my phone number now? What if I don't trust him? What if he's not somebody to be trusted? Now he has my number. Now he can call me. Now he's a direct line to me. What if this isn't his number? Which is not. Hmm. I think people like anonymity when it comes to the creators a lot more than they say they do. How this experiment works. It's just watching the wheels turn. You know what I mean? It's just watching it all unfold. Minutes left. Um, not not bad with this little social experiment. I think it was kind of fun. Um, very interesting. It was very different to see how people react. <laughs> Granted, there was a lot of people who probably were at work. There was probably a lot of people who live uh, overseas, you know, in Great Britain and stuff like that, which typically happens. And they go, if I call this number, Oh, bad things are gonna happen. So, the lesson that I learned in this is that I opened a door, and some people took the, that opportunity, some people didn't. But I think the big thing is, I 
I, I really, really thought about, you know, how people react when it comes to like animidity. Um, and I probably keep saying that word wrong. I really need to stop. Um, but when I think the internet is very prideful when it comes to like their privacy and you know, I know like in this day and age, like doxing sucks. Doxing is not something that's good. Um, I don't recommend, I don't think anybody should, I don't think anybody should say, you know what, I'm going to give this guy's address and his phone number and everything like that. Um, on the flip side of the coin, what I did was that I felt like I took that power back and put it out there and seeing if people would take it. Um, and even if people took it, some took the opportunity for it and some didn't. So it's really interesting to kind of see how all of this played itself out. Um, I had a good time, actually. It was really cool to sit and contemplate how people would react and how people would take it and how people would move from it and what people will do with just a little bit of information that they got about their creator. Like, what would they do? What would people do if they had a dark line to someone they really like? Do you call it and talk to that person on the other end? Or do you don't? And you just sit and wait. And you wait, and you wait, and you wait. Because that's all it is, is this information, right? This is fun. Thanks for watching, guys. It's 7 o'clock. Time's up. I'm out. Hey, if you like this video, check out this video over here. Or, look at this video over here. Smash that subscribe button, baby.